Well, we are three years into the COVID-19 pandemic and we are finally getting somewhere on how this came to be. FBI Director Christopher Wray said the pandemic was likely caused by a lab leak in Wuhan, China. Now, this has always been a theory, but it was considered a conspiracy theory for a very long time, so much so that mainstream media refused to touch the story. Director Ray even concluding to Fox News that he believes the Chinese government is doing its best to try and thwart and obfuscate the work the United States and foreign partners are doing to get to the bottom of how this virus originated. This all comes after the fact the US Department of Energy on Sunday assessed that the virus likely did come from a lab leak in China. Now, this is a big win for people like former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and former President Donald Trump, who have from the start wanted this theory to be taken seriously. Many people during 2020 did push back on the theory because it was Trump that was publicly supporting it. When Donald Trump was ousted from office and Joe Biden was sworn in, it was now up to him to be tough on China. In May 2021, Biden ordered intelligence agencies a 90-day directive to investigate two theories. Either COVID-19 originated from a lab leak or it came from a wet market in China. The report was handed down months later in August and was unable to definitively say which theory was most likely the source of the outbreak. In June last year, the scientific advisory group of novel pathogens released a report to the World Health Organization. The report was basically inconclusive and prompted the WHO to call for full collaboration and transparency from all countries, including China. The overall conclusion was that the likely cause of the virus was through bats, a theory of which has been indicated in previous studies. The study concluded that there were several gaps in the theory of whether the virus originated from a Chinese wet market. Interestingly, the panel said there was no further help in assessing whether the lab leak theory could have led to the possible origins. The SAGO report noted, The SAGO notes that there has not been any new data made available to evaluate the laboratory as a pathway of SARS-CoV-2 into the human population and recommends further investigations into this and other possible pathways. These scientists advising the WHO on this report did not travel to China. A team of scientists did, however, travel to Wuhan in China for a four-week investigation in January 2021, but it came home with several possibilities. There is a problem, though. Evaluating data and evidence over a year after the outbreak began is tricky because the physical access is limited. And then there was the question of what access they were even given to by China. China has copped backlash for its lack of transparency, especially when it comes to the lab leak theory. Not only did China push back on the United States proposing that there be an international investigation into the origins of COVID operated out of China, but there is also speculation that any evidence of the virus was covered up at the Wuhan Institute of Virology before scientists had access to it.